press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. So today we will see what is the difference between physiography of India and physiography of Brazil. So there is one question in the exercise. Uh, so I was getting comments that I should upload the question answers of this chapter. So I will upload this, this question because this question is not available directly in the textbook. So let us see what is the difference between physiography of India and physiography of Brazil. See first, uh, if you see the first point, so the physiography of Brazil is divided into highlands. We are having central highland or Brazilian highland. Then there is great escarpment. There is the coastal region of Brazil. There are plains in Brazil and island group. If you talk about India, the physiography of India is divided into Himalayas, Himalaya mountain in the north, northern Indian plains. We are having peninsula plateau, the coastal plains and island group. So there are no island groups. Uh, there are some island groups, but there are no marine island groups in Brazil. There are marine island groups in India. This is the first point. Then there are no high and long extending mountains in Brazil. So there are no high and long ascending mountain. We have seen Brazil's, to, Brazil's physiography. There are no high mountains in Brazil. But if you see in India, there are many high and long ascending mountains in India. Example, Himalayas. We are also having Western Ghat, Eastern Ghat. These are high mountains and these are extending long mountains. These kind of mountains are not seen in Brazil. The highest range of altitude is 500 to 1000 meters in Brazil. So if you talk about Brazil, Brazil ka jo height hai, Elevation is ये ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा thousand meters तक है. Pico de Neblina, this is the highest peak in Brazil. जी एक ही जगह है जहाँ three thousand meters तक ऊँचा है. बाकी सब five hundred to thousand meters. In case of India, the highest range of altitude is six thousand to eight thousand meters in India. So we are having Himalayas, which are which average height is six thousand to eight eight thousand meters. No hot desert in is available in Brazil. But in case of India. The western part of northern Indian plains is occupied by hot desert. The name of the desert is Thar Desert or Great Indian Desert. We are also calling it as Marusthali. So no desert is found in Brazil, but we are finding desert in India. Then Pantanal, one of the largest wetlands of the world is found in Brazil. So uh, Pantanal, you must have, you must be knowing about Pantanal. This is a wetland, swampy land. So this swampy land is available in Brazil, but no such large wetland is found in India. Great escarpment is located in the southern east part of Brazil, southeast part of Brazil. No such escarpment is found in India. No prominent. So there are some islands in Brazil, Majaro Island. But if you talk about India, in India, we are having Andaman and Nicobar Island or Lakshwadip Island. These are big island groups that are available in sea, deep sea or ocean. No such kind of island groups are available in Brazil. So no prominent marine island groups are available in Brazil. Prominent marine island groups of Lakshwadip and Andaman Nicobar Islands are found in India. There is no region of backwaters in Brazil. So if you talk about the uh, drainage system, so there are no types of backwaters in Brazil. But in case of India, we are having backwaters in Kerala. So at many places, there are areas of backwater found in India. Example, Kayals in Kerala. So local name is Kerala ka jo black backwater hai, uska local name is Kayals. Central and southern part of Brazil are covered with tropical and temperate grasslands. So central part of Brazil is having a grassland called as Savana. And tropical part of Brazil or sorry the central or tropical part of Brazil is having a grassland called as Savana. Temperate part or it is a temperate part or part that is below the Tropic of Capricorn. It is having a grassland called as Pampas. So there are grasslands called as Savannah, that is tropical grassland, temperate grassland. This kind of grasslands are found in Brazil. No such big grasslands are found in India. Large part of Brazil is covered with dense tropical evergreen forest. So where Amazon River is flowing or near the tropic of about between tropic of Cancer and Equator, we are having tropical forest in Brazil, which is evergreen forest. So large part of Brazil is covered with dense tropical evergreen forest where near the Amazon basin. In India, the area under evergreen forest is less as compared to Brazil. So it is very less. No wide plains are found in Brazil. Uh, in many wide plains are located in north and coastal regions of India. So if you talk about northern, northern Indian plains and in the eastern coastal plains, so we are having wide plains. No such kind of plains are available in Brazil. So these are the differences between physiographic divisions of India and physiography of Brazil. So hope you have understood this. So here we conclude this. Uh, th this video if you have liked please g give a like if you have understood please uh, share the video with your friends 
and subscribe to the channel for more videos and thank you for watching Bye.